Welcome back. Today we are going to make the exhaust system, so the laser filter system for the air. Um, and that may not seem as important as all the other stuff we did before, but it's actually, it, it makes a huge difference. Um, I've had the laser before without any air filtration and you couldn't just cut something uh, for a few minutes without the whole room smelling like you, you were having a campfire. So it is really, really important, especially if you're cutting stuff like acrylic. So what I've got here is, I've got a, um, let me just see, I've got a G4 filter, F9, H13, and a uh, coal or activated carbon filter. And then I've got the exhaust fan. I'm not sure whether the uh, names of this, so G4, F9 and stuff, is the same in America. But in Europe, or Germany at least, this is um, how it is. And this H13 filter is pretty much the finest filter you can get for uh, less than a hundred bucks. So it really is worth it, getting all this stuff so you get clean air. And I'm actually not too sure how to mount all this. I'll have to figure that out myself. I haven't planned it, sadly. But um, yeah, I'll see you when I'm kind of mid midway through the planning process and um, I've figured stuff out myself. All right, I'm back. I realized that this is quite a big step, but um, don't worry, I'll explain it to you. So I've got this big box with some silicone on here to keep this airtight and all the edges here are siliconed so this should be very airtight. Then we've got this big radial fan which will suck the air so um, there will be air coming out of this box and it's going to be pulled through here, through here and then through here, through the um, activated carbon filter and then it's going to be emitted out of the box. Now you could do it the other way around so just blow air from here and then it's going to be pushed through all the filters but then the problem is that if you have a small leak um, it's going to blow the uh, stinky air out of the system so that's just why we won't do that. This way um, when there's a leak here it's just going to suck air into the box and um, that's, well, not, that's not a big problem. So um, I'm just gonna put in the filters and we've got these little screws here that when tightened, press the filter against these seats and this should seal everything up. And I've got this here and the filter here will be pressed by the front plate. All right, let me put the filters in. Now for sealing some of the filters up, I've got this um, kind of foam tape, which when compressed seals it very tightly. So this should work. Now the big H13 filter has a some kind of silicone on it per factory, I don't know. So that actually wasn't necessary in this filter, but um, on these ones it is, because they just have this kind of um, plastic shell here, so we need to seal this up. Alright, it has been quite a lot of time since I last filmed any of this, and I've got the um, filter thing sealed up, and this should be sufficient. I don't know, we'll see whether the um, volumetric flow will be all right or not. We'll see. I've got this hooked up to the ventilation system which should suck out all the smoke which gets blown here. As you can see I've already cut some test pieces. So I got this switch here and it's gonna be loud so I'll just explain it and then do it. Um, this switch has two positions, oh well three and zero is off 
One is just the ventilation, so just the ventilator in here and the big radial fan in here. And then number two, which is, well, the last position, is going to be the ventilation plus the pressurized air, which has a little, um, which has a little tube which goes from the pressurized air source all the way through all of the cable carriers and to the nozzle. So I can just demonstrate that. And I don't know whether you can hear me, but now we've got this thing running and this thing running as well. And this adds the uh, pressurized air. Alright, that should be it for the ventilation. See ya. Alright, thank you very much for watching this rather quick video. Um, and I'll post a follow up very soon, which uh, shows all of the laser components and all the workings in action. So we'll actually cut something. Alright, thank you.